For the image pre-processing, we still have all of those settings available here. Um, we can clean documents, despeckle documents, um, smooth out images, you can do color reduction, smooth out your images for color and grayscale versus just by tonal, right? And we have color inversion available and we can do some cropping here as well. OCR is automatically enabled. Um, similar to version 6.6, .6, we have three different analysis modes. Um, I typically will recommend balanced. Um, it is the really the best combination of accuracy as well as processing speed. Uh, we have a large number of languages that are available. I think it's over 120. Uh, some of the newer languages that we have available include Arabic as well as uh, Hebrew and a number of other Asian languages that we have available as well. We can also output additional formats. So I had already gone through the PDF formats that we can output. We can also output um, the OCR text layer as, as text files. Uh, we can do um, rich text format, Microsoft Word, WordPad, whatever you might need. And then if you have a something in bounded boxes, you can do Excel, gen, standard Word, and a variety of different XML files as well. Now, we now have a new section for barcodes. You can check off here and detect barcodes, and then we can edit the actual barcode profile. So if you have a QR code or other types of 1D or 2D barcodes that you would like us to process and action, basically name the files based on the barcode or split the files up based on that barcode, we can now do that for you. Our compression options are also here. Um, I typically will recommend going with our standard default compression options. We've done a lot of testing here and we found that maintaining a medium balance of quality will really yield the best compression ratios as well as maintenance of the image fidelity. Um, but if you need to increase the, the compression or decrease the compression, you can sim very simply just scale it up and down right here. Okay. Um, we also now have the ability to embed some different uh, things in the actual documents, right? So if you want to embed metadata, you can do that. Bookmarks can now be added. OCR, OCR results can also be embedded. We have some different post-processing options. Um, we can rename files, overwrite existing files, um, keep the inputs, delete them, move them to a different location. For the purpose of today's demo, I'm just going to keep the input files. And then under general, we just have some general settings just for job priorities. Uh, this is also a new feature where we can determine if there are higher priority jobs that are need to be processed faster than some of the other priority jobs, right? Since I'm only processing one job, I'm going to have just a priority of five, but if I had five different ones, I can have a priority of one all the way down to five. 